now and join the All-Stars and you will rise to new heights in wrestling because the coach got all the connections. I'm the one who makes everything happen around here. Jim and I making Lance the same monetary offer that he gave the Kamikaze Kid. That had to be an amazing payday for Kamikaze Kid at Battlecade to do what he did. And this is our main event of the evening. One fall for the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Championship. And that tells me he's willing to do whatever it takes to make sure Roy is in no danger of ever losing that title. Mm -hmm. And it also tells me they are worried about this Lance Lude challenge. I would be too, quite frankly. Lude, um, I wouldn't call it a fluke because it was anything goes, but he was pinned by very uh, underhanded means in a, in a way at Battle Cave. Absolutely correct. Bell sounds, we are underway. First Mid-Atlantic heavyweight title match of the year. And as Lance Lude alluded to earlier, uh, these two have met a couple of times under some very devious circumstances. Uh, Roy Wilkins trapped in the Cristo. He tapped his hand on the official. Referee Kevin Pierce called it a tap out. He did. Coach and Wilkins say that it was not a tap out. He was moving Pierce out of the way, moving the official out of the way to get to the ropes. Nevertheless, Lance Lude won that match. Fast forward to Battlecade. Lance Lude again with the Cristo has got John Schuyler trapped in the Cristo as part of the six pack challenge. John Schuyler taps out to the Cristo. Roy Wilkins dives on top of the pile with Lance Lude's shoulders down. Referee Red Jones, who is the official assigned tonight, counts the one, two, three. Lance Lude is eliminated from the six pack challenge. So these two men have met a couple of times before, and there always seems to be some kind of uh, strange set of circumstances whenever they face. Tonight, we aim for a winner and a loser in this Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Championship bout. Right, and there's not been anything uh, outside of the rules, so to speak, but just some very controversial situations with these two. But I think straight up, you know, it goes without saying, I think we're going to have a phenomenal match here. But I think Lance Lute has a very good chance of winning this thing. Champ is not here. I have not seen the Kamikaze Kid. Yeah, it would appear that the champ has come only with his coach and no other outside help. Which is, uh, Roy Wilkins has the ability to go it alone. He just chooses not to, and it's, it's very frustrating at times. And we're going to see what's going to win out here, the flying of Lance Lute or the pelvis of Lance Lute or the ground game, the technical expertise of Roy Wilkins. Yeah, Wilkins is nothing less than a master on the mat. You know, some people have compared him, and I've never thought about this, but I've seen people on, on social media comparing to one Zack Sabre Jr. And that's a pretty high, high praise comparison. Absolutely it is, one of the best wrestlers in the world. And a little bit of a petition go around to try to make that match happen, Brad. Wilkins. However, when he holds the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Championship, it puts him in the conversation of being among the best wrestlers in the world. We talked about it at great length at Battle Cage 16. If you have not seen Battle Cage 16 in its entirety, you have got to go back on youtube.com slash CWF Mid-Atlantic and catch all three parts. We talked about how the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Championship over the past 15 years has come to symbolize being the number one wrestler in this region. Wilkins survived a six-pack elimination match against five of the absolute best we have ever seen. Whether any of us like it or not, Wilkins was the last man standing at the end of Battle Cage 16 over Lance Lude, Brad Attitude, John Skyler, Chet Sterling, and Trevor Lee. Uh, 
that's got to put him in the conversation of being among the very best wrestlers in the country right now. Absolutely, and right now, CWF hotter than it's ever been, and a lot of people feel like Wilkins will finally start getting that dude, like him or not. He is probably the most underrated wrestler maybe in North America right now. Yeah, wrestling. I'm willing to say that. Wrestling in the Mid-Atlantic is hotter than it has been in 30 years. I mean, I've, I was talking to Bobby O'Neill last week about this. People are talking about that main event of Battle Cade as a match of the year, not just CWF, but absolutely correct. There, people are saying it's a top 10 match in North America all of last year. If you have not seen the main event from episode 35 of CWF Worldwide, the Six Pack Challenge, you have got to see it. It is absolutely incredible. Six of the very best we have ever seen giving it their heart and their soul and everything they've got in their bodies for the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Championship. Roy Wilkins survived it, and look at Wilkins. Man, that might be the stiffest top wrist lock I've ever seen in my life. Very dangerous. And Lou does no slouch with the technical game, but this is not the match he, he needs to be in. Right, I completely agree. You're, you're not going to out-wrestle Roy Wilkins. Very few can. It... He's really got to quicken this thing up. If you're in a ground game, chain wrestling with Wilkins, you're going to come out on the short end of the stick. Now, watch this thing. Go, drives it down. Nice drop. Toe hold. Now, once this pace gets quick, that's where Lance Lude's going to shine. If this pace gets yeah. quick, Wilkins, if he is smart, will keep Lance Lude on the mat. He's got 30 minutes to work with. He can take his time, more or less. The crowd wants to see Lance fly. They want to see maybe the most spectacular wrestler we have ever seen. Shoulders down. Only gets two. The most, easily the most death-defying wrestler we've ever had here. Mm -hmm. well, he, he jumped right above our head, 15 feet in the air at Paddle Cave. Yes, he did, and that was incredible. Nice side, nice head scissor here. Got it really, man, that's in deep. And Wilkins, you see, he's really, he's not trying to counter out on it. He's trying to get to those ropes. And Lude is being very uh, Lude. Mm. A lot of times you'll see, is that why they call him that? I thought it was short for Quay Lude. <laughs> what? <laughs> but you see, Wilkins, oftentimes, this side of bravado, he will always try to counter out of a hold, but right there. That, that head scissor was in deep. He got to those ropes, and that was a smart move. Wilkins angered that his ear may be cauliflowered after that leg lock. Very deliberate pace, and Wilkins, you know he is controlling his pace right now. Yeah, both men are wrestling a championship pace. Neither man wants to make a mistake. Cover. It's a lot like in the big championship fights. You see guys utilize that jab for the first three, four rounds mm -hmm. to kill each other out. And the headlock is about the pro wrestling equivalent of that jab. And we have seen it used extensively so far in this match. Oh, he might be trying to choke the man down. It's a good thing on the part of Lance Lude. The man can't breathe. He can't really throw strikes. He can't really wrestle. He can't really run. He can't really do much of anything. Right, and the position of that arm is the key. You know, it, in a lot of ways, the, the MMA choke, so to speak, is legal as long as that arm, as long as the bone is not over the throat, mm -hmm. it is a legal choke. Oh, now Wilkins is the first one to start getting ugly here. Drop down, Wilkins, lead frog. Wilkins will use the drop down as an offensive maneuver if he can. Pace is quickly to favor Lance Lude. Wilkins gets sent into the buckle. Now is this, is this where it picks up? Is this where Lance Lude gets his game going? Whoa! Nice head scissor over, Lude is in control. And Wilkins the first man really to go on the defensive here. Mm -hmm. All the way up for his body. Lude has got the best body control of any wrestler I think I've ever seen in my life. God, he's just so quick. Sends Wilkins to the canvas. Lance Lude may be feeling it here. He is calling to the 250 that have packed the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium tonight. And Wilkins very wisely got back in the ring. He knew Lude was going to come flying. Wilkins taking a powder. Try to slow it back down. Count is at three. And this is smart by Lance Lude. He is not looking to rush in and go diving on Wilkins right now. Yeah, many times you would see Lude dive out, sometimes even head first, aiming for the concrete. 
He's fully aware of what Wilkins is capable of. You know, you know the old saying, fools rush in. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to be that fool with Roy Wilkins. Boy, this capacity crowd at the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium absolutely hates Roy Wilkins. Yeah, I don't, a lot of that has to do with the fact that they simply hate the coach. It seems like a lifetime ago, Wilkins was one of the most popular guys here. Former Rising Generation League champion was kind of the top prospect of the Mid-Atlantic Dojo for a period of time. Actually, back years ago, when I was the manager of the group called Fatback, they had three people for... Whoa! Oh. I was going to say, they had three people for Cage of Death. Rob McBride selected Roy Wilkins, handpicked him to fill out their team. And Wilkins, he's trying to really misdirect Lude here, but it's not working. Lude has wrestled a very, very smart contest. Ooh. Man, nice power there. You can hear Lance Lude screams throughout the venue. Man, right in that back in that midsection, those ribs. That's a good way to slow down the flyer. What in the world? Using the buckle to his advantage. What the heck is he thinking here? Oh, he's tying that foot off. Oh, almost a trio. Whoa there. Wilkins loves that big high angle belly to back, dropping him on the knee. I thought that maybe what we're going for here. No, he's just looking to, to try and strain some knee ligaments. And he's just going to leave Lance dangling there. Referee Ray Jones has got to free that man. Right, he's got to be real careful doing it, though. He could do even more damage trying to unhook him. Lude is screaming. He got him loose, though. How much damage has done to that leg? We know Roy Wilkins has a pit submission hold that works the legs. And the coach, like, he cornered me in the locker room. Heads up. Heads up on the outside. Oh, he dropped the knees on the edge of the apron. He cornered me in the locker room and blew the whistle in my face and told me that the name of that hold is the seventh inning stretch. Wilkins version of the stretch muffler. Coach is coming over here. Here he comes. No fly zone. No fly zone here. Why don't you get back on the other side of the ring? No Why don't you get back on the other side of the ring? Please? Yours is open, coach. Lance Lude hurting, grabbing that knee. And yes, Wilkins. Oh, look at him kick away. Look at Lude kick away at Wilkins. Yeah, you see that a lot in, in MMA fights and things like that. Guys will try to kick from the back, and that's Lude's best defense. But now, you see how Roy, he stepped on the free leg. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Man, he wrenched that knee like... He may, he may have ripped his ACL there. We talked when we saw Evan Banks wrestling about referee stoppages and potential controversy. If, in fact, what you're saying, it proves to be true, referee Red Jones is going to have to seriously think about whether or not Lance Luke can continue this match or not. Absolutely. It's kind of a hot-button issue right now, but Red Jones does have a reputation of sometimes maybe letting matches go a little bit too long. You know, I've seen many occasions where matches should be stopped and he did not step in. So it will be interesting. You know what? There is a little pressure for management to really watch out for this sort of thing. I think that's probably going to be true also in a big title fight like this, in a worldwide main event like this. Oh, he's going to the post. And the coach, this is not legal, by the way. Oh, uh, slamming the knee into the ring post. And if you're wondering where the referee's at, dealing with the coach. Yeah, we've got a great shot of the coach. Manipulating the official. Got to get Lude off the ring post. Good grief. And Lude had something in his hand there. Did, did Roy take the pad off? That's the third or fourth time that the knee and the leg of Lance Lude has hit that ring post. And that is cast iron. That is one of the hardest things you could ever possibly hope to have your body hit. We actually just got brand new post and buckles before Battle Cave. A lot of people don't realize that. I didn't so even know that. That's, that's literally, that's reinforced steel. That's an upgrade from what we were previously using here at the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium. That's a higher grade material. There were some instances. Wilkins is stalking the challenger in his first defense of his second title reign. 
Roy Wilkins' first title reign came at the expense of Eric Royal, ending Royal's title reign that lasted over 500 days. And Wilkins would hold that title before losing it to Brad Attitude at last year's Battlecade. That is to say, Battlecade 13 months ago. Oh. But he redeemed himself and then some by surviving the six pack challenge. Yes, he did. And look how confident, how confident Roy Wilkins looks right now. This is. This is a title fight. Wilkins is taking time out to talk to the crowd in a title fight where his championship is on the line. The confidence of Roy Wilkins, he absolutely feels like he's got this thing in the bag. Right, he feels like Lou probably can't make it to his feet. Lance has taken a beating, undeniably. Trying to pull himself up as Lance Lou. And you notice Roy is not helping Lou up. He's not picking him up to do any moves. He's letting Lou do all the work. Hey, he just measured him. He saw it from a mile away. I don't know if Lance can walk on that on that bad leg. He has not taken a step in what feels like five minutes. No, he's been on his back ever since that drop. Ah, oh, half crab. All the pressure on the bad leg as he squats over the back. Not only does it arch the back and damage the spine, but all the pressure, all the torque as it were, all the torque is on that bad leg. Yes, it is. It, it, the half crab is one of those moves. It, it stretches out the lower back, but all the focus is on the knee. That's maybe fading here. Yeah, I think so. And we have seen great wrestlers throughout history utilize this hold to perfection. It is a painful move. Wilkins has got him. I mean, he has got him. There is nothing for Lou to do. He's got to navigate out of this hole. Luke's but can he? Fight. This is best bet. Get to those ropes. It would seem all the fight may be fading out of Lance Lude like an hourglass. Yes, it is. And it, as a result, he has drained the life from this crowd, which is honestly what the All-Stars want. Oh. oh. That was the move Lude needs. Man, Roy, look at his eyes. Oh, man. That glassy look. This is a huge opening for the challenger. But Lance, can he get to his feet? That's going to be the key here. Can he get vertical? He's taking so much punishment. And once that leg goes, you know, sometimes it's impossible to get the feeling back in it. Got to use the ropes. Ooh, Lance on one leg. That's so dangerous. Oh, Wilkins told him to come on. Roy saw it a mile away. Lance Lude is hurt, and Wilkins, I cannot believe that this fight between two such accomplished athletes is going this way, but Wilkins is toying with the challenger. He really I, is. I can't believe I'm saying that. I can't believe that's how this match is going to go, but Wilkins is toying with the challenger. And at this point, you have to wonder, is there anything Lance Lude can put together? We just saw he went to his favorite spot. He's a flyer, and he looked completely lost for the first time I can ever remember on that rope. That knee has got to be hurt. So many things that we have seen in the past 14 months. Uh, Andrew Everett missing uh, a tremendous amount of time with a knee injury. Brad Attitude nursing a knee injury the entire time that he had the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Championship. Think about that. He won the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Championship at the end of December. He tore his ACL and his MCL in the middle of February. So for, what's that, six and a half months of his title reign, he was nursing a serious knee injury. Yes, he was. But at the same time, he does not use the leverage in the ropes at the, at the same degree that a Lance Lube does. The Lube absolutely lives and dies by it. Oh. He got the back. If you notice, that leg jammed it to the mat as well. I have never seen the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Champion so confident. We have seen Wilkins control the pace, control his opponents better than anyone else in the game, but I have never seen Wilkins control anybody like he is controlling the challenger right now in his first title defense of the new year. Yeah, he is on his game like I have never seen before. 
and he will have to be with people like Trevor Lee breathing down his neck, with people like Lance Lou, Brad Attitude, Chet Sterling breathing down his neck. Oh, he slipped out. Oh, 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 oh. Heads up here. Oh. There you go, and Ludus Wise, he's kind of leaning on his ropes, using him as a crutch. Ooh, Lance was able to use the legs. Can he shut out the pain to hit one big move? Big Tash right here. Woo! Used the momentum, used his own leverage to send the champion into the canvas. A scintillating DDT. But he's really got to get over there and make that cover. He's got to look for any quick cover. This crowd is begging for Lance Lou to get back in this fight. And I've noticed every time Lou hits something, he goes at the head. Whenever you're behind, that's the best place to go to try to rock the man, knock him out. Absolutely. At least get him groggy. Both men up. Oh. And honestly, a fist fight may not be a bad idea right now if you're Lance Lou. Slugging away. Slugging away. Oh, Roy. Yeah, one great shot. And Roy's the first one Ooh. down. Lance has got to stay up. He's got to stay up. He's got to make something happen here. Readjusting the pad on that knee. Oh, but Wilkins kicks the leg out. Masterfully done by the Mid-Atlantic champion. Have we ever had a smarter competitor? Wilkins, oh dear. Golf swing maybe? No, he ducked. Did not get it. Loot awakening, perhaps. Yes. Oh, but he landed on the knee. Oh, he landed on the knee. Man, that was the move he needed, and it just stopped right there. Oh, if he could have landed on his tailbone, he might have had something. Got oh. Two, two. He got a good hook, but it took too long. We are seeing our first great wrestling match of 2016, our first classic main event of 2016. We are seeing it right here at the first live event of the new year. 250 have packed the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium and Lance Lude is trying desperately to get back in this fight. He's really got to shut it out. We know he's got the heart. We know he can withstand the pain, but can he put it together? He's got the man made. What the coach? Coach is throwing the flag. Red Jones has got to get the coach out of the ring. Oh my God. Red Jones has got to get the coach out of the ring. Demands or not. Championship advantage or not. He's got no, he went for the oh, I got Terry, but he's in the crease though. Luda's got the crease though locked in. Coach has got the official. He tried to get out, but he switched sides. Oh, he got Oh, he got him with the flag. I think he caught him in the eye. Maybe the bridge of the nose with the flag. It's that seventh inning stretch, the stretch muffler. Wilkins has got the seventh inning stretch on the bad knee, on the bad leg of Lude. Lude is trapped. And it's all focused on that leg. Wilkins is standing up with it. Oh, he oh Lance Lude trapped in the seventh inning stretch. Come on, let go of the hole. And had to give it up. Roy Wilkins survives his first title defense. And look who's here. What the he hell? He sent the ref out of the ring. He's flirting with a fine there. Runners, by submission and still, still the ref, Midland heavyweight champion, Roy Wilkins. Kamikaze Kid is berating. Watch his protege. He said he went to bat for the coach to get Lance the best deal, to get Lance a deal just like Kazi's with the All Stars. Lance turned it down. Oh no! What is this? Match is over. What? No, no, no! Oh God! I think he just poked him in his neck. The All-Stars are standing tall. Somebody's got to do something about this. Man, we need some help out here. We got security heading to the ring. Oh! He just low blows 
security. Sonny Fox, our head security guard, and they sent him out of the ring. What in the Sam Hill is going on? They got scissors. Oh, no. This crowd is in a frenzy. They are cutting the beard of Lance Lude. Are you kidding me? With a trophy of their first title defense. What a jerk Kazi turned out to be. Sick of this play here on CWF Worldwide. This is Cecil Scott for Brad Stutton.